Hello, I am Flavius, Valerius, Constantinus, but I am better known as Constantine the Great. Nice to meet you. I was born on February 27th, 280 AD, in Nasus, which today in 2010 is what you fine folks would call Siberia. My mother's name was Helena, and she later became known as Saint Helen because it was believed that she found a piece of the cross that Jesus Christ was crucified on. My father was an officer named Constantinus, but he later became the Emperor Constantinus I. I became Emperor, or the Caesar of Rome, when my father died in 306. I was a believer of the pagan Roman religions until one day. Hmm. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was with my troops preparing for war against my rival Maxentius. We were just getting ready for battle of the Mavilian Bridge when all of a sudden it it came to me. It it just appeared in the sky, in the sun, above our heads. A cross of light and above it an inscription reading in in your English translation. In this sign you shall conquer. It it was incredible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, I then had my soldiers inscribe into their shields this cross that I had seen, and we went forth into battle. Well, we won. Rome now had but one ruler, me. I knew that I had the protection from this Christian god. He had truly helped us defeat Maxentius. It was because of that I converted to Christianity. I helped make Christianity the dominant religion in Rome. I helped support the church. I built basilicas. Well, more so I finished the basilica which Maxentius had started. I let him keep his name on it. After all, I was naming an entire city after myself. You know, Constantinople. Ha ha ha. I exempted clergy from certain taxes. I promoted Christians to higher ranking offices. I endowed the church with land and wealth. I even rid our empire of crucifixion and replaced it with, instead, hanging. In 313, I issued the Edict of Milan. Basically what it meant was that people were free to follow any religion they chose, and this included Christianity. People were not prosecuted for following pagan religions. They just really didn't get anything out of following pagan religions. On March 7, 321, I declared that Sunday was the day of rest. All markets and everything else were to be closed on this day. Originally, Saturday, the Sabbath, had been this day of rest, but Saturday was known as one of the pagan Roman gods, Saturn. It was known as his day, Saturn's day. In 324, I started construction on my new city, finally named Constantinople. It became Rome's new capital. It was a Christian city with churches and Christian architecture. There were no pagan temples within. The twist on building the city, though, was that it was the pagans who had to sort of pay for building this new city. In 325, I called the Council of Nicaea. 300 bishops of the Christian church attended. I called this rather large meeting to help resolve quarrels and controversy among the leaders of the church. Why can't we all just get along, I thought to myself. First, I demanded that they all be more Christ-like agents than they had been. Together we affirmed the deity of Jesus Christ and came up with the definition of exactly who he was. We established what the Trinity was, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Together they made up our one God. Together, using the Bible as our guide, we developed the Nicene Creed. What some of you may not know is the influence that I had on a rather popular holiday, Christmas. Yes, I even had an influence on the famous Saint Nicholas. You know, he was in attendance at the Council of Nicaea. Yes, me and good old Saint Nick go way back. He had become a bishop at age 17 and was imprisoned for 10 years for not making sacrifices to Roman gods. Because of me, after I conquered the East and ended persecution, he was released. 
I established the official date of Christmas. Nowhere in the Bible does it give us a date for the birth of Jesus Christ, so I sort of made one up. During the date of December 25th, there were two weeks of pagan holidays occurring. It was a holiday celebrating the Roman gods Saturn and Mithras. It was during this holiday that everyone was considered an equal, even slaves. No one could be punished for anything during this time. There was much celebrating and gift giving and parties and feasting. Yes, gift giving. That is where your modern day presents, or so you call them, came from. I just simply converted this celebration of Saturn and Mithras into the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. It worked out quite well. In 337, I fell ill. I had originally planned a great campaign to conquer Persia, and along the way be baptized in the Jordan River, just like Jesus Christ. But it didn't quite work out like that for me. When I realized that I was about to die, I asked instead to be baptized on my deathbed, and just in time. I died on May 22nd, 337. A great loss for this world.